Hello, my name is Dr. Colin Sumrall, and I'm a paleontologist at the University of Tennessee specializing in Paleozoic echinoderms. This will be the first in a series of videos I'll be making over the next year to discuss various aspects of echinoderm paleobiology and echinoderm taxonomy. Here at the Sumrall Lab of Echinoderm Evolutionary Paleobiology, I'm often asked two questions. One, do echinoderms have a skeleton? And two, how many skeletal elements do they actually have? The first answer is actually very simple. Echinoderms have a skeleton. If they didn't, things like a crinoid would have no fossil record. The answer to the second question is more interesting. When you look at a thing like a starfish, like this Luidia, you might think, oh, it has five parts or something like that. But the answer to how many parts a, a simple starfish like this has, or even something like this sand dollar would have, is staggering. You can calculate the number of spines on a, on a sand dollar, and what you will find is it's somewhere in the order of half a million individual skeletal elements. So to look at this question in an interesting way, we're going to do one of the experiments I like to do in my paleo paleobiology class, which is put a starfish in bleach and see what happens. So to demonstrate just how many parts a echinoderm has, we're going to take our little starfish friend here and we're going to stick him in a bucket of bleach and you can watch and see just how many parts a single starfish has when it's fully disarticulated. This is a time lapse of the starfish in bleach. The ball bearing is simply to keep it from floating away. And as you can see, it releases a lot of bubbles until ultimately you have nothing left but isolated plates. So here's that same starfish now all dried out. And what you can see is that the skeleton itself has remained, but it has isolated ossicles, literally thousands of them. With a little bit of skill and experience, you can actually identify what kind of echinoderm you're dealing with from these isolated individual bits. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I and look forward to seeing additional videos from the Sumrall Lab of Echinoderm Evolutionary Paleobiology.